Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about the unexpected way to make her want you more. So this is a dating advice video. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can get a woman who you're dating to be more interested in you. Or maybe you've only just started talking to a woman and you want her to become more interested in you and you're wondering how you can play your cards right. Okay, so this is the unexpected way that you can do that. And it's usually the thing that most people don't uh, want to do, right? It, go, it, kind of, it kind of goes against your natural response because the natural response when you like someone is to pursue, to do a lot, to try and basically to try and put yourself in the best light possible um, so that they become attracted to you, right? But what people mistakenly believe is that by what they think is by putting themselves in the best light possible is actually what's making things worse and actually could be potentially putting that woman off of them, right? So the first thing that you need to do, and this is the most difficult one, and that is to not chase, right? So what do I mean by chasing? So what I mean by chasing is um, messaging her more than she messages you, um, you know, chit-chatting too much online through messenger and things like that. Um, you know, saying things too soon, like I really like you, or I'm in love with you, or buying her things, right? Because there are different methods that, that guys use, essentially, right? And sometimes one of those methods is, is that they think, oh yeah, I, I need to buy her things, I need to buy her flowers, I need to buy her jewellery, because that's what I've seen in the movies, or that's what I've seen by some false guru or whatever, right, and that's what they've said to do, or I need to say, like, these perfect cheesy lines or something like that, because that's what I've seen from the movies, <laughs> and, you know, or, or some men believe that they need to be always talking to her and chit-chatting online with her to keep her interested, to keep her engaged, when actually doing less is what works, and that's this, this is the, one of the weirdest things about life, right, and it, it sort of, it sort of, you can see it throughout pretty much everything, right, in most situations, the less you do, the more you get results, right? So for example, like the less you try with people, like the, tr the less you try to impress people, right? The more approval you get, right? That's, a, that's an excellent example of that, right? The, the, the less you try to work hard, actually you get more done, right? You get more work done because you're in more of a relaxed state. Because when you're trying really hard, what actually happens is you get stressed, right, and you, and you feel the pressure, but when you're just kind of just focusing on one task at a time, taking your time with it, you actually get a lot more done, now obviously you shouldn't be working at a snail's pace or anything like that, but you get my point, like if you're just focusing on this task at this time, and you're not stressing too much about it, you're just trying to do it in the best way that you efficiently can, right, because sometimes when we're, you know, really trying to work hard and we're stressing about it, and what happens is we tend to make mistakes and then we have to go back over those things again and do them again correctly, right? So it's, it's, it always seems to me that in most situations in life, taking a more relaxed approach and doing less actually equals to a lot more. And it's the same with when you're trying to attract women and you're trying to get a woman that you're talking to to like you more. It's much better to do less and to not chase and to pursue less. Now, of course, you, you have to pursue a little bit, right? You have to always pursue a little bit in the beginning because most women are not going to flout or say, I want to date you or I really, really like you because most women tend to be a little bit more shy in that regard, right? So when you like a woman, it's a good idea to let your intention be clear, to let her know that you fancy her, basically. And the best way to do that is to actually just ask her out on a date. Right? You don't need to tell her explicitly that, oh, yeah, I really like you, or, yeah, I, I fancy you and I want to date you. The best thing to do is to just invite her out to see you, to, to meet out with you on a date. Right? The best thing to do is that right, because then she will know, right, you don't have to say, I really like you, you don't have to say, oh, I'm in love with you, or I'm really attracted to you, she'll be able to tell that you like her, because you're asking her out on a date, right, and therefore you can keep your your cards more closer to your chest, and you can chase less, right, because you're not explicitly trying to convince her how much you like her, right, it's the, because women can pick up on these subtle clues, right, a lot better than what guys can most of the time, so, 
when you like a woman, when you find her attractive and you like to get to know her better and you think there's a good chance that she may say yes to going out with you and for example, she doesn't have a boyfriend, she's not married or anything like that, she's emotionally available. You may even have heard, if you know her in person, you may have heard that she you know, is looking to, to date right now or she's single, you may have heard that, right? And what you do is you just say to her, hey, you know what, I think you're really cute. Um, when are you free to hang out? I'd love to get to know you better. When are you next available? And then if she is interested in you and finds you a little bit attractive, even just a little bit attractive, she'll probably say to you, oh yeah, I'm free Saturday, I'm free Monday afternoon, I'm free this time, that time, free this day. And then all you have to do then is just say, hey, that's great. How about I meet you on Saturday at seven o'clock and we meet at this restaurant, right? And then she's like, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'll meet you there. You're like, great. I'll see you then. And then you kind of leave the conversation where that was. Don't try to do any more with that because you've already set up a date. So you might as well wait until the date to get to know each other um, and things like that. So that's way, where you need to start. That's why you need to pursue a little bit to begin with, right? And you do that a couple of times. So let's say you go out on that first date on that Saturday and then you wait a few days to ask her out again, right? And you ask her out again and then she, you know, you if she still likes you, then she'll agree to see you again. And then um, what will happen is that the more, you know, if you see each other once a week, the more she will start to fall in love with you. And what you'll see is that you will no longer have to pursue because she's starting to reach out to you more. So you only really need to pursue just for the first couple of weeks with a woman, really, ju really just for the first couple of weeks. And then she'll start reaching out to you more, right? So obviously it can be a little bit different with certain women, like sometimes it may just take one date and she'll start reaching out to you more. Sometimes it may take two or three, right? Depending on how shy she is, depending on how quickly she's falling in love with you. Because what you've got to remember is that we all fall in love at different rates, okay? And it's very important to remember that. Most guys fall in love quite fast. I'm someone who falls in love quite fast, right? But with the typical woman, I'm not saying that all women are like this, but the typical woman falls in love a lot slower and it takes a while for her feelings about you to, to build gradually. And it happens gradually over time. It's not something that happens instantly. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you can meet a woman who's really, really into you straight away and she's already messaging you loads and you're already seeing each other loads because she's messaging you loads, right? And, it, and it's great. And sometimes you can have those relationships because perhaps that woman is a bit more extroverted or she's just super, super attracted to you. Right? But other women, sometimes, in, in fact, I find this with most women, is that it takes them a few dates to warm up to you, to get to know you, before they start pursuing you a lot more heavily. Right, And what you've got to remember here is an interesting quote that I really like from Coach Corey Wayne, is that when a woman is reaching out to you, assume that she wants to see you. Right? And that's what he says a lot. So, um, when a woman starts reaching out to you more after those initial dates and she's initiating contact with you, that's when you can say, hey, we should hang out, we should meet up, right? And then you can start seeing each other, not just once a week, but maybe twice a week, right? And then after a while, it will start to be, you see each other three times a week or you spend the weekend together and then you start entering that relationship. But it happens gradually over a few months. It doesn't always happen instantly. Sometimes it can with those rare women who are super into you, but... For the typical woman, it's going to take her a few months to get to that place where you're in a relationship and you're seeing each other all the time, okay? So that's, and as you can see, it's minimal steps, it's minimal action on your part. You don't actually have to do much, right? Right, and a lot of guys, to begin with, feel like they have to do a lot. They have to prove themselves to a woman. They have to say all these different things or they have to buy her things and things like that. But you don't actually have to do much at all, okay? So... What this means, though, is that I don't want you to think that, oh, yeah, no, so what you're saying is I've got to play games, right? And that's not what I mean, okay? By keeping your cards close to your chest and by just doing this once a week thing until she starts reaching out to you more, what you're actually doing is you're giving her the space and you're giving her the time to let her feelings grow naturally within herself because you're not trying to force things, Right? And this is really important to grasp. If you are over messaging her, trying to convince her, buying her stuff, you know, trying to get to that relationship as fast as you can, you are forcing things. You're trying to force things. And the more you try and force things, the more she's going to be repelled by you, right? Okay. 
But by taking a bit more of a relaxed approach, like what I've described, you are giving her time to think about you. You are giving her time for her feelings about you to grow. And this is the best approach because, and it's also the most kindest approach as well and the nicest approach because you're not trying to force things, right? You're actually doing her a favor by giving her that space to allow for her feelings to grow. It's actually a very good hearted thing to do and to not force things, okay? So that's where you gotta remember, you gotta give her that time and space for her feelings about you to grow. Because you want her to fall in love with you naturally. You don't wanna be trying to make her fall in love with you. You want her to be able to come to those conclusions within herself, because that will mean that her love for you actually develops faster and stronger than what you may think. But if you're always in her DMs, if you're over pursuing her too much, right? you're preventing it, you're actually making the process a lot slower for her, even if she is super attracted to you, right? She may still fall in love with you, but it's gonna be a lot more of a dragged out process, right? Because you're forcing things. But actually the fastest way to make a woman fall in love with you is by giving her plenty of time, plenty of space, right? By just asking her out once a week until she starts reaching out to you more so you no longer have to initiate things basically. And then when she starts talking to you more and initiating conversations with you more, that's when you can start seeing each other more. And that's when that relationship starts to blossom. Another thing that's really helpful as well is to keep your feelings close to your chest a little bit to begin with as well. Because let's say you meet a woman and you're pretty much already like head over heels for her because she's absolutely gorgeous. She's everything that you've always wanted, right? In terms of maybe looks, in terms of her personality, perhaps you get on really well as well and you're falling hard. It's better to wait for her to bring up the topic of, are we in a relationship? Where are things going? It's always in best as well to wait for her to say, I love you as well, right? Now, if you're dealing with a woman who's a bit shy, then maybe she might not bring up these topics, but you'll be able to tell if she's there already, right? You'll be able to tell. And the best way you can tell if a woman is ready to hear the words, I love you, or shall we be in a relationship, or shall we make this thing exclusive, is if you've already met loads of her friends, you're seeing each other pretty much all the time, you've met her parents, right? And, you know, it's basically evident that you're in a relationship because all of these things are happening, right? That's when it's free for you to say, I love you. That's when it's free for you to say, um, shall we make this exclusive and be in a relationship, right? And, you know, that's how you know, basically, that that's where it's led to, okay? Because, yeah, if you're dealing with someone who's a lot more introverted, a lot more shy, perhaps she's really worried about saying I love you and things like that, then, um, then yeah, you might have to be the first one to say it or something like that. It might just come up naturally. You know, you might just be having a really great evening one night and it may just slip out of your mouth because it felt like the natural thing to do, right? But never say it before then, right? If, if it, Don't say it when you're still just dating each other once a week, you know, and you haven't really met her friends or her family yet, right? Keep it close to your chest until those things have happened, right? Because that's when you know she'll be ready to hear those things anyway, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.